Hey everyone, my name is Jenny Man. Recently, I was working on implementing a Zendesk chatbot, but as soon as I finished, I realized implementing a chatbot is so old school. People these days are building their own ChatGPT, not traditional chatbots anymore. So then I looked into how to build your own ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT is definitely cutting edge technology, but there are a few issues when it comes to making the best use out of it. One is GPT-3 is based on old data from September 2021 and before, but we're now in 2023. In today's world, if you're using data that's two years behind, it almost makes the product unusable to get any level of accuracy out of it, right? GPT-4, on the other hand, is more accurate and more powerful, but it is not free and it has a rate limit, which means it can only address a certain number of requests per minute. Some rumors say the pay plan allows about 100 messages per four hours. Some say sometimes it's 25 messages every three hours, which isn't a lot, so it probably depends on the traffic. Also, there are a few tutorials out there on how to build your own ChatGPT that pulls from your own custom knowledge base, but they're all based on static documents. So you would have to constantly update your inputs and whenever you have a new document added to your knowledge base, you would have to manually add it to the location where your code pulls from. The manual maintenance really makes it not a viable solution for business use. The solution I'll be presenting to you today solves all of these problems. We'll be using a free real-time ETL platform, Astory Flow, to sync data from any of your custom knowledge base to Pinecone, which is a vector database that allows you to build fast and scalable applications using embeddings from AI models. From there, using Python, we'll be using the OpenAI library and Langchain framework to query our own knowledge base that's getting updated automatically in real time. To do this, there are a few prerequisites you'll need. First, Pinecone, which you can sign up for free. I signed up for an account a few days ago and I was put on a waiting list, but they're actually pretty quick in moving through the wait list. I got my free account today. Second, you would need Astory Flow, which you can also sign up for free and you can process 10 gigabytes of data monthly for free which is a lot of data for many use cases. Lastly, OpenAI, which you can also sign up for free. Um, what we'll be needing from them is an API key, which you can get for free as a free trial user, as well as some free credits. If you do decide you want to use it long-term, after the free credits, it's pay as you go at a fairly small fee. Um, this solution will likely still be cheaper than GPT-4, $20 a month, and that is not customizable. Step one is to set up a connection to ingest data from your custom knowledge base. On Astory Flow, you can select from this whole list of pre-built connectors. For example, you can set up a connection to pull call notes data from Salesforce. This video here shows how to pull real-time data from Salesforce. You can also potentially have a knowledge base in Notion or Jira that holds your product-specific docs, and you can use this Notion connector to pull from your knowledge base there. The article linked in the description box below goes over how to do that. You can also, for example, pull from Slack threads. A lot of companies these days have a huge knowledge base in Slack that they aren't doing anything with, and it's a very big value loss. You can use the Slack connector to tap into your Slack knowledge base real time. As messages get added, your chat GPT will always be the most up to date, leveraging data, including your latest Slack messages. We'll be sharing a demo on that later as well. For this demo today, we will just use Google Sheet as it's the easiest to show you how it works. And in case you don't have a Salesforce or Notion or Jira or Slack account, you can still try this out easily with just Google Sheet. So let's say I have some call notes in a Google Doc like this, and I want my GPT to base its answers from these call notes specifically. I would just use a capture connector to capture this data from the Google Sheet and then use a materialization connector to ingest the data into Pinecone. If my knowledge base is elsewhere, I would just use a different capture connector depending on where that data is. 
Notice here our column name is input. This is intentional as our pinecone materialization connector expects documents from a field called input. If you are capturing data from other sources such as Salesforce and Slack, you will transform your data with a derivation so that your input data can be mapped to the input field. You can check out this video on how to create a derivation. For now, since we're just using Google Sheet, let's click Capture here. Let's give our capture a name. and put in our spreadsheet link here. And authenticate. Hit next. Our data is found and placed into this collection here. Let's click Save and Publish. Now you'll only need to set this up one time, then we're continuously getting the latest data from our source whenever there are updates there, which is one of the things that makes this solution so powerful. The next step is to materialize through Pinecone. The Pinecone materialization integrates with OpenAI to create vector embeddings based on the text input using the text embedding ADA002 model. To set up the materialization, you'll need a few things. A Pinecone index, which is used to store materialized vector embeddings. So go to Pinecone, create index, give it a name, we'll call it flow index. Dimensions need to be 1536 because we're using text embedding ADA002. Metric, this is the distance metric used to measure similarity. The default cosine is fine. For plot type, we'll stick with the free option, starter. And that's pretty much it. Click Create Index. Now that we have an index in Pinecone, let's go back to Flow to fill out the endpoint config. The Pinecone index is our index name, flow index. You can get the Pinecone environment from here. This is something you would select when you first set up your Pinecone account. And then Pinecone API key. You can go to your Pinecone API keys tab, hit create API key and get a key from here. Next is OpenAI API key. You can get that from your OpenAI instance view API keys, then create new secret key from here. Once you have all of that, the embedding model we're using is text embedding ADA002. That's all you need. Now you can click Save and Publish. After the materialization is published, vectors will start to be added immediately to our Pinecone index. The data pipeline is now complete. The next step is to use Python to query Pinecone directly so that our Q&A will be based on our custom knowledge base. To run Python, we'll be using a Jupyter notebook today if you have not used it by any chance, you can install Jupyter on your computer or download Anaconda. Also, we'll be using Langchain, which is a framework with built-in support for Pinecone and OpenAI. You will need OpenAI and Pinecone client installed. If you don't already have them installed, you can run these commands to get them installed. But since I've already installed them, I won't run these commands. Now let's dissect this Python script a little bit. We'll first import the libraries we need. Then we will set some parameters that we'll be calling, including the Open AI API key, Pinecone API key, and Pinecone environment, all of which I've already shown you where to get them in previous steps. And then we're telling our code which language model we're using and the name of our field that we're getting source data from, 
which is input. Index name, namespace. What is a namespace? Namespace is a partition of your vector database so that you can have multiple namespaces in one index. And queries and other operations can then be limited to one namespace. So different requests can search different subsets of your index. Next, we'll initialize our Pinecone database index flow index. Create embeddings of your documents to get ready for semantic search. And then set the large language model using Langchain's chat open AI. Then using Langchain's retrieval QA, we will get an answer based on documents from our knowledge base that are most similar to our question. Now let's test the question. Our call notes include notes from several sales reps. Let's ask what improvements each sales rep can make to close their deals. As you can see, the answer is specific to our sales reps reference in the call notes. So there you go, a custom chat GPT based on your own knowledge base, real time with minimal manual maintenance and free. We're working on additional content to showcase more novel use cases around this, so stay tuned. And if you have any cool ideas or any questions, feel free to leave a comment below the video. Thanks for watching.